Johnny Zest, a sim that resides in the world of Oasis Springs. Now I've heard through Sims 4 lore that he is the illegitimate son of the land grab family. Now I don't know how true this is. I have no idea. I'm not good at Sims 4 lore, nor do I give two sh for it, to be honest. But that got me thinking, where do you live? I'm not really accustomed. I don't even know who this person was until I saw him. And here is where he resides. It's in this little trailer home. And once again, we are back in the world of Oasis Springs. There doesn't need to be a paternity test really, does there? Because he does look like the spitting image of Nancy and Malcolm. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Landgrab. So, and I just saw from that little bit of lore that I read that he is indeed their son. So, yeah. Um, I think that they disowned him because he went into the entertainer career or something. But anyway, this is the home. This is the home that we're going to be playing around with today. I'm not going to go into this with what I usually do with kind of like EA limitations and stuff. I'm just going to use all of the packs today for this, but I'm not going to change the the actual footprint of this house. I like the size of it. I do like the size of it. I think I'm going to change the position of the house because I don't know. I think it would just be better up this end here. And then we could have this whole like front garden area for just some entertaining space and stuff. That he's got like outdoor areas like under some trees and stuff that he can invite friends over and have parties and things. I think we'll go down that route. And we're going to go down the route of making this into a tiny home. We'll go, down, we'll go down that route. We're going to change everything about this. I want it to be... He looks a bit more suave, doesn't he? He looks a bit more suave. So I think I want a house to kind of go with that. So that's what we're going to do today. Yes, we bloody are indeed. So I'm going to get over to the build mode. And we are going to make a start on renovating this. Now, the interior is a lot to be questioned in here, really. I think we're just going to get rid of absolutely everything that is going on in here. And just bring it back to a nicer look uh and i do and i definitely do want to move it i'm going to move it over to this side and have it laid down that way now i think what we're going to do is as i said we're going to keep the footprint the same i like the layout in here as well i just think the kitchen needs to be a little bit bigger i think the kitchen needs to be extended out a little bit further over this way it's a bit small like that for me i'm going to move it over to this area over here i'm going to pop you to around about there i think let's have a little look at that oh yes yes indeed and what we're going to do is just get rid of a variety of objects around here, including all of this landscaping. The landscaping's not that bad, but I think we can do a little bit better than that. So let's just get rid of you and let's bish bash boost everything from here as well, because I'm not enjoying any of it. Not enjoying any of it. I think we might need to reduce the height of this as well. And I think we're going to go for a sort of, not a shipping container home, but something along those lines. Maybe it was a shipping container, but they've clad it in some kind of wood with some nice big modern windows and stuff. That's the vibe that we're going for. Yes, we are indeed. Yeah, that looks better. We'll break it out. I don't like that roof either. We're going to get a different roof going on here. So we get rid of that vent too. Um, and I'm going to pick some windows and some wallpapers. So windows have gone. Now I had a little play around and this is what we're going to do. We're going to use this siding here that came with growing together. I just think this will work beautiful in this landscape. And I'm going to try not blend it into the landscape, but just make sure it sits in the landscape like a good boy. Um, I'm going to put this around as well. This is the Get Famous Foundation. I just think this would work quite nicely with this um, vibe that I'm going for. And then what we're going to do, I think he needs a little bit more entertaining space. So I'm going to extend this whole area here. I also tried to make this a tiny home, but it's still too, it's too big because we've got tiles on top of the roof here. So it went over. So he's not having a tiny home anymore. Uh, it's going to be a tiny home, but not a Sims 4 class tiny home, you know? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring this all the way around to like here, like that. Lovely. And I'm going to do a white trim. This one here in the white. No, the white, darling, white. There we go. Stunning. And then up here, I'm going to flop on the whitest of roofs as well to reflect all of that desert heat around and away from this house. Yes, very much feeling that. Um, the fence in question, I used this one and it looked great. So we're going to pop that one on as well. This one to here. Uh, I'm going to pop you to there for the minute, but we are going to change the stairs. So let's get rid of you and go for some slatted white stairs 
right in the middle there, like that, with matching railings. Well, I'm going to flop them onto there. And then because of this cantilevered edge, sorry, itchy head, um, I'm going to pop in these little pillars. One there, one there, one there, and one there. And then what we're going to do is put on a big glass slidey door. We're going to use the Eco Lifestyle ones. I think that was the right one. I do believe it is. In the white as well. So this kind of acts as the entrance, um, but also just a nice area, a, a nice bit of lighting coming in to the living area. I'm kind of feeling that. Uh, and then we're going to do a smaller window on that side there. Obviously going to change out this wood on here. I think we'll go for the eco lifestyle wood there too. Yes, that looks nice. I think I might carry that on through into the interior as well. Just so they've got... Yeah, I'm going to do that all through. All throughout the house. I'm enjoying that. Definitely enjoying that. So that's about as far as I got. I just think that looks nice and attractive. Attractive looking house that. Um... Would look lovely with some greenery and stuff on it but what i need to do now is pick out the windows for the rest of the house windows are all picked but i've also changed the siding here i decided on going for a little bit more of a shipping container vibe just on the end just on the end piece there i just think the contrast of the white and the like wooden siding looks really nice and i'm for it i also put in a little spandrel you can see under here just for a little bit more detail on this area i'm not going to put any more pillars on this bit i like that whole area being opened out there i think that'd be a nice entertaining space with like maybe a dining room table and stuff like that, or maybe even some chairs we'll see what happens uh, and these are the windows that i've gone for so i've gone for some smaller ones here just to allow light to come through there but still give this area a little bit more privacy um, I did give them a big window onto the bedroom though, but I didn't put one on this side edge here just because I want an area to be able to put the bed and stuff. So I left that one free of a window, but I did put one on the other side. Put one on the other side there. A big window going into the bathroom as well. And then I did a big row of them in the living area. I didn't want to put any on this area here just because it looks right out in somebody else's house. I thought privacy loves and i'm going to be putting some bushes and stuff there i think again using all of the same kind of like landscaping you see around the actual world itself and i also thought why not add in some skylights i think some skylights maybe one in the bedroom and also maybe a couple in the living area i'm going to pick that same trim and flop that in the middle of the skylights as well like so oh that's very nice yes cute i'm happy with where we are like where we've started i'm kind of happy with how that's looking so what i probably want to concentrate on a little bit more now is getting the landscaping in so i'm going to work a little bit on the landscaping by myself but i'm also going to bring you guys in and we're going to do some entertaining spaces i'm thinking like maybe like an outdoor bar area uh i think that could be kind of cute in like a little enclosed garden or something we'll do that um and a nice barbecue area as well, maybe. Maybe even a pool, like a small pool somewhere. I mean, that could be kind of cute on this lot. I'm thinking that. We'll see what happens, but let me have a play around and I'll be right back. So I've done a little bit of landscaping, just a tiny little amount, just so it kind of like shuts the, this build off a little bit because the build's kind of far back, the actual main house. I didn't want all of this empty space here. Uh, right next to the road and it adds a semi a little bit of privacy but we're going to keep this lot kind of open anyway and just make the bushes um, be the privacy factor. Now I thought why don't we use this bar here we're going to use this bar here that came with werewolves I thought this would be absolutely perfect for Johnny so we can have all of his friends over then we use this bar here and tuck this one just up to the edge of said bus there we go. So there's kind of like, there's this like juxtaposition against like something really old and battered, but this like new build that I reckon he's like saved up all of his money and built himself. I'm kind of here for the storyline that we're giving Johnny today. Yes, we are indeed. Right. I'm also going to do some um, solar panels. I reckon he like, he got abandoned by his family. Like he wants to be as self-sufficient as possible. So I wouldn't mind doing like a little area where he can maybe grow his own food. Um, and maybe even get some chickens. I haven't done any terrain painting yet. We'll do that in a second. Now, I'm going to put this tree right in the center of the lot. Because I really want to hang some like those festoon like string lights around this area. 
have a big dining space in the middle here where you can entertain all of his friends and stuff and have barbecues. And also, I was going to do a pool, but it just looked a bit too bougie. So I'm going to flop in this um, hot tub. I'm going to put the hot tub in instead. And I might even go around the edge here with some more plants and things. Um, a fire pit. I thought a fire pit would look great, like maybe around here like that, where his friends can all come and hang out. And also this, maybe he's a bit of a dreamer, you know? He's been fending for himself for a bit long, so he likes to look up at the stars and sort of see what life's all about. Oh, I'm for that vibe, I really am. So, as I said, I want to find those festoon lights. I'm going to start stringing the lights around. So here we go. I've pulled them out. These are from the toddler? I don't know, the kids pack? One of them. <laughs> one of them, don't know which one. But I really want to make this a right moment. So I am going to probably go around the whole tree to be honest if i can get that just fixed into the bus moment there and then with this i'm gonna bring this all the way around um the tree area itself yes this will work you can obviously see as well i've pulled out some planters as well they may move just because i don't know how long or how much of this um festoon lighting I'm going to be flopping around. I would like a big circle of it, to be honest with you. Oh, do you know what? This might go down the middle and might work out quite well for us. Let's let's hope. Let's hope it does. Um, Yeah, but I think it needs to be over this way. Like, around in kind of that position there. So, oh no, that works. I, I didn't think it was going to work. Nope, that's fine with the planter. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Let's go a little bit more straighter here. <laughs> Straight in Pride Month. No, thank you. No, thank you indeed. Yeah, that'd be cute. That'd be very nice. I do want some terrain painting going through here. And I'm going to find a dining room table and chairs. Did a bit of terrain painting. Just used a mixture of stones. All from base game as well. Uh, and I went for a bit more of a paving slab up here. Because I noticed that one was used um, over here. And I was just like, oh, actually, that looks nice with the sand. So I decided on putting it up a little bit more around here as well. Now, dining area. I'm going to use this table here. This table from base game and also this chair. I forget what this chair came with. I can't remember. Um, but it came with something. Came with something. I just thought it looked very kind of like handmade-y. Um, and I thought it would work well here. And I think we'll put a lantern up on top of here. And I'm going to put that lantern around in a few places, I think. Maybe we could like put one down by the side here um maybe over on the corner by the um the stairs there maybe one where i'm gonna put the barbecue we've pulled out this barbecue here i think i want to put the barbecue over on this side so let's put one over here as well i'll put the barbecue there and i'll flop one not too much near it though because i can imagine that's a gas one we don't want that we don't want it exploding do we uh, and i'll pop the barbecue in that kind of position there yeah cute that's gonna be very very nice nice little entertaining space and I'm kind of for that. Kind of for that indeed. <gasps> now, now what I would like, I think, maybe just a couple of lounges. A couple of sun lounges just underneath the tree here. So if like people do want to come and relax like underneath the tree and out of the sun, that could be kind of cute. Yeah, looking out into the world as well. Nice little view here. I didn't even notice that there was water down there. <laughs> That's how much I do not build an Oasis Springs, loves. But I think that would work quite well. And then I'm going to use these stools here and put them around this fire here. So they've got loads of activities to come out here and play. Did think of fought against the chickens. I was just like, do you know what? Actually, no, because I'm not going to be shutting in this lot with any kind of fence or anything. Having chickens so near the road, like, how did the chicken cross the road? You know, not very well because it got run over, darling. Um, so I, I, I went with that vibe. I went with that vibe and I'm I'm sticking with my guns. Um, I'm going to pop down a lantern by the, um, the lounges as well. And I reckon this is going to look lovely at night. Let's have a little look. Oh, look at that. Yes, that looks cute. I'm for that. I really am. Very much for that indeed. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. I do like that indeed. I think we'll put some kind of plantage down here. Um, and up here, I want to do an entertaining space. Now, I did... Oh, I can imagine him having his friends over and then watching some like movies outside. I think this might be a bit too big to squeeze in here. Oh, it's perfect. It's bloody perfect. Oh, oh God. Well, it's meant to be then, loves. 
it's meant to be. So if we can squeeze that in that area there, not only does that act as a little bit more privacy as well, we can put lots of squashy armchairs and stuff around here. Maybe a little sofa area up here as well. So if they do just want to lounge around and talk, they've got that option to do that. More greenery on the side. We will light this area up too. Um, I'm thinking we should go along the lines of having some like fairy lights and stuff up here. I think that would be a nice vibe. So let me pull out a variety of things for this area and we'll put it around together. Okay, pulled out a few variety of things. I put these little like uh, fairy lights down on the foundation here. Now they don't really sit on it, but psh, 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 you did not see a thing. I just thought it looks nice there. I put them down there, put some plants around on this area here by that window. I just think that looks nice. I might even climb a tiny, let's have a look. I might climb a little tiny bit of ivy up here. I think it could look kind of cute. Oh, maybe in some trellis. That would kind of make it make a little bit more sense. Yes, let's do that. Just for a little punch of green on that point there. Love that for us. And then I've pulled out all of these objects here to decorate this like little, um, what would you call this? Porch, porch area up. So we're going to go for this color palette with the bean bags um, for the uh, movie area. The, the door opens this way, so we don't need to worry too much about putting stuff up to here. So I'm going to go ahead and just maneuver these around i'm gonna get some rugs out for this area as well so he's got loads of places for his mates to come and sit and i mean i would like to hang out in this space the more i'm doing it so you know johnny's gonna be absolutely made up he really will right and then i'll flop you to like there and then you maybe just a little bit further over but we do need to make sure that they can get through here i'm gonna you to run about there like that let's have a see let's have a little look oh yes that's cute i like that i like that i also use the flip-flop lights as well up on the actual build itself um i don't necessarily like them but i just think it'd be cute for johnny he likes a bit of fun you know so that's what we're trying to make this place a little bit of fun now we're gonna have a mixture of just some egg chairs swingy egg chairs but i was thinking about adding in a little rocking chair in the middle of them as well so They've got options to come and sit. In fact, what I'm going to do is push this further forward. And then I'm going to put some greenery behind here, I think. I think that's what I want to do. And I pulled out a table. I'm thinking about putting a few table, few chairs on here. Oh, do you know what? A games table would be even better, wouldn't it? Let's do that instead. Let's do a games table instead. Um, Isn't there a similar one to this? One of the new games tables. Does it look like that? Am I going... Oh it, oh, it does look... I knew it. I knew it. Is that the same table? Probably. Probably indeed. Oh, we'll use the same chairs as well. We'll use the same chairs and flop this on so his friends have got somewhere to come and play some poker or don't wake the llama, whatever they want to play. We'll bring that to there. Yep, that's a lovely little area. And I was thinking... We need some kind of like drink station out here. So maybe just getting a table and adding in that like iced tea jug. And there we go. Little iced tea jug. I'll put it on top of a barrel. Uh, I've put some of the planters and the drawers up here along with some of those planters. Um, a wind chime. I've put some rugs around the place as well. And I also pulled out a bird feeder just over, just to put over in that corner. And a juice cake thing. I think it would be nice to have this out here um you know i'm kind of vibing with that kind of vibing with that i just think it fits in with the aesthetics and i think just to finish it off i would imagine like maybe him and his mates like jam out a little bit like to music and things and so maybe just bringing out a couple of instruments um maybe a violin not that one that's very expensive can we have the the smaller violin please there we go this one here we'll do it in a blue and pop you down to there Maybe they have a little bit of a jam and sesh out on this front porch area. Vibing with that, darlings. Vibing with that. I did forget to mention, I did put like in a little um, Lindsay speaker down there as well. So um, there is some music out here that they can jam out to. I'm kind of happy with it. I think that is good enough for the exterior. And I think this blends into the world quite nicely as well, which I'm kind of for. Very much for it indeed. So... We are getting into the interior now. What I need to do is get on the wallpapers and get some of the lighting and choose some of the doors. And we're going to go bit by bit and do each of the rooms together. So first things first, I'm going to add in 
I'm going to add in this little wood burner. I'm, and I've put a diagonal wall here because I kind of like the way that it sits in this room um, on a diagonal. I've, I've also put a few little windows at the top there. So we'll still get natural light, but it's just very private. We use this little TV and stereo unit. I reckon he saved off his money for that. That's one of the newer things. But I wanted everything in here to have some kind of like handmade looking vibe or something that he found and made use of, you know, because... He got abandoned by his family. And the more I think about it, the more I get unnecessarily angry. No, no, it's not unnecessarily. Angry with the land grab family even more so because of what they did. Johnny deserved better as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'm going to pop you into here. Uh, again, using one of those like burlap looking chairs because again, it just feels like it's got that handmade kind of like vibe to it. Um, same with the coffee table as well. We're going to use this coffee table. That's going to move in a sec once I've put this rug down in here. I probably want the rug to be around there, so I'm going to put the coffee table to there. Stunning. And then I had this uh, little lamp. Again, it still fits in with the aesthetic that I'm going for in here. Very homey and, I don't know, it, a warm. Warm and communal. You can imagine loads of people coming to this house and really enjoying themselves because of what Johnny's done to the place. <gasps> I love that storyline. I really do. I really like that. Um, so I'm going to flop that, flop that to there. And I think just to finish off on top of here, I wouldn't mind some kind of cactus, to be honest. Here it is. Night blooming cereus. Oh God, that's massive. I size you down just the one. And I'll flop you to there. I, I like that colorway in here, but let me just check the others just in case there's a better one. Oh God, no. Yeah, that was the best one. <laughs> we'll, we'll stick with that one. And I'm kind of vibing with that. And I think just to finish off this area, because we've got this like little walkway here. I think having a small little desk there would be nice with a laptop on it, like an old laptop. I think that would be good. And that then Johnny can keep up with gigs and stuff that he could have, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm into that. Oh, what about if I did use the werewolf desk, though? Even though that is a too uh, wide one. Oh, that would look really cool in here. And then just do a little cheap looking chair. We'll go for this one. We'll go for this one here from Growing Together. I'll flop you to there like that. And then, as I said, just getting in the cheapest laptop in the white would be great. Uh, we have got a lamp there, so maybe I could fill this uh, desktop with plants instead. I reckon Johnny loves a plant by the looks of things, loves. And do you know what? I'm for that for him. I really am. I never really thought about Johnny much until I did this build. And now I'm absolutely rooting for him. I really am rooting for him. Um. <laughs> uh, He's quite hot as well. I'm not usually into blondes, but he's quite he's quite an attractive looking sim. I will go. I will go and say that. Oh, yeah, that one there. That'd be cute. Yeah, I'm kind of vibing with that. We have got lanterns on the ceiling as well. I put lanterns all the way around. Um, So this place is lit up rather deliciously. OK, so kitchen. I'm going to go for a semi looking new kitchen, I think. Um, But I don't know which one to share. So let me have a little look and I'll be right back. So here we go. Kitchen. I'm going to use this kitchen here that came with that cottage uh kit pack i can't remember what it's called cottage kitchen probably probably that uh, and i'm gonna use this fridge i haven't used this fridge yet nor this oven we're gonna use the same matching oven that came with grown together i just don't really like them i don't really like them but i think they match in well with what i'm trying to get across here so i'm gonna use them in here i don't hate them i'm, I'm being mean i'm being very mean i don't hate them it's the fridge i'm not really keen on I do like the oven though. The oven's quite nice, but I would just like some normal looking things every now and again, you know? And I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this island that came with the industrial kit pack and I'm going to put it on either side. So it kind of makes use of having this as like a dining space then, you know, there's got no dining room. I just thought they would all be outside eating, but just in case they wanted to eat in the interior, um, I'm going to use that one instead. And I'm kind of for that, kind of for that indeed. But that is a nice kitchen. I think it is anyway. You might not, and I don't care. I really don't care. As long as I feel it's all right, then I'm fine. So I just need a few final pieces to pull out and just put a bit of personality in this room. So give me two secs. And there we go. I just finished it off by just putting a few extra details around in the kitchen. And I think it looks better. Very nice indeed. I also stylized up the hallway a little bit. A bit of storage down on this point. Put some pictures up on the wall. But I also furnished the bathroom as well. Bathrooms are just dull to me. So I've just left it very much in keeping with what's going on around the house. But it's got a full bath. 
and I'm for it. Now, this is where we're going to start now, into the bedroom. I've decided on doing two walk-in wardrobes. Um, I would imagine with his job and stuff, being an entertainer on the comedy scene, he needs a lot of clothing. So my idea was to put in two walk-in wardrobes, and that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. Now, I think what I need to add in this room as well is a nice mirror in the middle here. But I would love to maybe get in a mic in this room as well, so we can practice his stand-up in the mirror i'm for that idea for him so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna give him a nice one we're gonna give him this one here we give it to him in the gold i think we should he deserves it he absolutely deserves it there we go johnny i'm rooting for him i'm the more i'm doing this build the more i'm rooting for him yes lovely so we can walk around this whole bed area here i'm thinking what i probably want to do is add in two side tables but Make the side tables look a little bit more shabby, shall we say? So maybe even this one, because this one here does come in that kind of like shabby texture, doesn't it? Yes. In fact, I'm just going to do one. I'm going to do one and I'm just going to push that bed in a little bit more. And then, so if he has anybody over, I'm sure they can still get down that side. That should be absolutely fine. But just for now, I'm going to keep it like this. Um, And I need to pull out a few more things for the bedroom. And there we go. That's what I decided to do. I decided on changing out the side table as well. He travels a lot of his job, I reckon, when he's doing his gigs and stuff. So I thought some suitcases would be better. A salt lamp. We also put up a little tapestry in the corner, a little plant. And I just finished it off by putting another kind of like homemade -y looking area. So a homemade chair with a little side table there. So he's got somewhere to sit down and think if he may wishes. But we're done, loves. I think Johnny's going to be absolutely made up with this. I won't lie to you. So let's um let's have a little tour around, shall we? Are you coming through this way? You come in through this way. It's all very open, um, but it's got loads of entertaining spaces. A little hot tub area there, a little fire pit moment. Also, yep, sun lounges, as I said. Also, a bar. It's got the juice keg and a barbecue area there with a nice outdoor dining area that I did put in this like outdoor fireplace as well, right by the dining table. I thought that would look really nice. Yes, it will. We've got some um, solar panels there. We've got a nice little growing area over there. A little telescope moment. We've got this entertaining deck, which is nice as well. Um, little chairs outside here, instruments. Games table. It's got that little cinema area as well for his mates to come on over. I love that for him. Um, so you come into here, into the little living room. Love this little living room nook. Very comfy, very tidy. I bet it smells nice in here, like wood. Wood and masculine scent. Um, it's got a desk area here as well. Obviously the kitchen that we did just a minute ago with the kind of little uh, industrial bar area where they can sit and have their breakfast. Come through this little hallway. Just a nice generic bathroom complete with a shower and a tub and then we've got Johnny's new bedroom as well I mean this is a definite improvement I mean it wasn't hard to improve what was there already especially because we get to, got to use all the packs and stuff today but I do want to get down to a bit more limitations soon as well so I am going to be cracking on with some more EA builds to renovate I definitely will be and I'm definitely thinking about doing that mansion in Windenburg and I think we all know the one that I'm going to be doing um, because it deserves it but anyway thank you so much for watching my loves leave me some lovely comments down below and I'll see you all again in my next video goodbye